I am here to tell you about the Tejas maneuver at the Dubai Air Show and discuss what could have gone wrong as requested by many of you. I will explain all the technicalities simply and briefly so that everyone can understand them. But this is a complicated topic so it will take longer than one reel. So in the first reel I will explain how a fighter plane does tight turns and why. Then in the subsequent reels we will understand various topics like aerobatics like roll, loop, barrel roll, roll of the top, then negative G and positive G and its effect on the aircraft as well as the pilot. What exactly is done at an air display and how tight are the margins? What maneuver our Tejas aircraft was doing that day? How it is done and why? And finally, we'll try to analyze what could have gone wrong that day. By the end of the series, I promise you'll have complete clarity and we'll have a better understanding of the unfortunate accident. So. First, let's see how an aircraft turns. Unlike cars or bikes on the ground, which can only move left, right or forward, backward, an aircraft can maneuver in three axes in the air. They are called yaw, roll and pitch. Yaw is when the aircraft nose turns left or right, like shaking your head no. Roll is when the aircraft tilts its wings. The tilt is called bank. Pitch is when the nose goes up or down, like nodding yes. When you turn while riding a two-wheeler, you don't stay upright, you lean into the turn, correct? Aircraft also turn like that. To turn, a pilot first banks the aircraft and then the aircraft yaws into the direction of the turn. The commercial airliners you travel in typically turn with a maximum of 25 degrees bank, maximum. In fighter flying, we bank much more, we pull hard and the aircraft responds with 5, 6 or more G turning tight with a small radius of turn. That's how we outmaneuver an adversary to fire our weapons at him and to avoid his weapons. The steeper the bank, the tighter the turn and the more g-force the pilot feels. The same g-force is felt during aerobatics, which look so spectacular from the ground, don't they? I'll explain g-forces in detail soon, but let's look at aerobatics in the next reel.